stay prayed up. And I just want everybody, you know, pray for pray for downtown. Pray for the people from downtown. Because yesterday, um, I experienced a real, you know, it, it touched my heart to see so many people without. Mm -hmm. And to wake up every day and know that we have, mm -hmm. you know, just be thankful mm -hmm. in, in every every minute and every second. Because it could be worse, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah, people just lined up underneath the bridge, you know, stuck on that synthetic marijuana. And I was like, wow, you know, I could be in that situation. But thank God that I'm here, that God delivered me from that nightmare. Amen? Amen. Because of his love and kindness, he set me in a place where he's working in my life each and every day because I could have died off of synthetic marijuana. But because of his grace and mercy, I'm alive today. Amen. Amen. So thank God, man, that we have that opportunity to be able to be alive. And not only that, to be able to seek and, and search after God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's one that's nice of me. Somebody should be. God is moving. Amen. Let me pray before I get started. Amen. I got a couple of hands back there raising back there. Amen. Enrique. Good morning, church. What another beautiful day in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to first, I want to thank the visitors here. Amen. I don't want to forget the church. Thank y'all all for being here this morning. It means a lot to us. Amen. Because y'all keep us on fire. Amen. amen. Our work is not in vain. Come on, somebody. Amen. My God. You know, the, you know Paul said y'all were his glory. Amen. You know, I, I got to feel that, you know, I, I'm doing this for God. You know, so I am thank God that he's giving me all. Man, come on, somebody. Amen. I thank God every day. I, I can't stop, you know. Uh, praising them. Yesterday we had the fundraiser and Brother Ray came up and shared about we were downtown, amen, but we left the fundraiser to go find the lost one that got away. My God, I'm talking to somebody, amen, because the Bible says, you know, the, the angels in, in heaven rejoice when he, God left the 99 to go get the lost sheep. Come on, somebody, amen. So we were out there looking for one that got away. We didn't find them, amen, but we're going to find them, amen, because God, God's going to lead us to them, amen. One of the brothers in the home that was doing great, but you know, we can't forget, you know, we're a church that shows mercy regardless of what sin we're in. Amen. Did y'all hear that? Amen. We, we, God has showed me mercy and grace. So all I, we can do is show it to somebody else. My God, you know, somebody even climbed through the window last night. I'm still going to love you. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Oh, y'all don't hear me this morning. Y'all ain't trying to have church this morning. <laughs> My God, you know, the, the Bible tells me this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice in it. Can I get a witness? Amen. Each day is a rich and precious gift from God with new grace and new opportun opportunities. Jesus says that we have only this one day and we must not be anxious about tomorrow. This is rejoice that we're in today. Can I get a witness? My message this morning is prepare yourself. Make it easy for y'all today, amen? Make it plain this morning. Can I make it, can I keep it real this morning? You know, too many of us, we, we try too hard and try to and prepare others, amen? That's my job. I'm here to prepare somebody this morning. This is my message this morning, amen? But we got to understand that we have to prepare ourselves. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Church, we have to continue to praise God for his great mercy and deliverance. How many came this morning to give God praise? How many come to give and rejoice in the name of Jesus? To give him a hallelujah this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, I can just say this. Thank you, Jesus. I, man, I thank God that he has set me free. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, he'll, there is liberty. Amen. How many are free this morning? Amen. Amen. Free to do what we want, my God. Just don't get... Don't get crazy while you do that. Can I, can, can I keep it real this morning? Amen. Just, just stay focused. Hey, stay in righteousness. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation 19, 7, Let us rejoice and be glad, give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Can I get a witness? Amen. Listen, church, this day I come to tell somebody we are in a preparation in time in our lives right now for the coming of Christ. And this preparation, no one can stop it. Can I get a witness? Amen. The church, the bride, is in need of full restoration and preparation for the coming of our salvation. And we're going to be in Matthew. We're going to be in St. Matthew. Amen. 25. 
starting at 1 through 13. Amen. And so I'm, gonna, I'm taking y'all somewhere, but I love to give y'all what the Holy Ghost gave me to write. Amen. Because uh, it just it fires me up. Amen. We have to continue to give gl glory for his victory. And as Irene said, thank God for, the, for Calvary and what he did on that cross. Amen. He came to save sinners like you and I. My God. I don't have no sinners in the house, do I? Well, he got quiet up in here. Amen. My God, I think we all sinners is what the Bible says. My God. Hey, my God. Thank God for God. See, God compares us to this wedding. The wedding of his lamb has come, it says. And this is what we're talking about. This is where Christ compares us. Can I teach a little bit this morning? Amen. This is where Christ compares the coming of his kingdom to a wedding for which we must be prepared. Amen. Church, we are prepared this morning to stand before God. I, you know, I got, to, I got to ask, you know, the church, are we prepared this morning to face judgment? Because the Bible says, my God, that we are all destined to die. To die. It's in Hebrews, amen. He said, but then comes day of judgment, my God. Amen. And, and you know, I got this message because, you know, uh, you know, I had a, one of the brothers in the home. He says, you know, uh, he says, uh, you know, help me. You know, I, I need a mask, you know, because um. You know, uh, this brother over here is sick, and I'm, I'm afraid to die. I said, my God, I said, don't be afraid to die, my God. Just be prepared for the next coming, my God. I said, don't be, you know, die to yourself. And my God, y'all don't hear me this morning. Amen. If you're going to die, die first to yourself. Can I get a witness? Amen. Can I preach to you this morning? Amen. See, you know, I, I'm just, oh, my God, I'm, pre I'm here to prepare you for what? God is calling us to do is to prepare ourselves for his next coming. Don't be afraid to die. Prepare yourself. Amen. The kingdom of God is near. The Bible tells us. Hey, you know, and so church, God called and anointed me to lead his church. Amen. Can I get a witness? My God. Sometimes I got to remind myself why God has put me here. And, you know, we, we can go out throughout the day and, and think we got it all together. Think we got, you know, our lives straight. Things are going good in our life. We don't need Jesus. My God, but I got to keep reminding you how much we need Jesus today. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. His church. I came to preach the good news, the gospel of Christ. The Lord called me to lead his church in victory, not only today, but also prepare ourselves for the coming of Christ. And I got to keep reminding you that God is coming. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. If I can't prepare you or lead you, I might have to ask God to take the anointing. What good is it for me? My God. But I got to remind myself that when I stand before God, my God, I'm going to need this anointing, my God. And I can't share it with you. My God. Can y'all, can y'all, can I get somebody to help me this Amen. morning? Amen. Amen. So, you know, we got to understand that you know, the anointing, you know, I, I got to say, you got to find your own oil. And this is what the Bible is talking about today in this message. The oil was the anointing of God that keeps us prepared for the coming. My God. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. You know, the Bible says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Yes, this is true. But if you haven't heard the good news, the gospel, you haven't heard about the Savior Jesus. Anybody hear the gospel this morning? full of grace and mercy. That's the gospel that we preach. God had mercy on me. Do we have mercy on our brothers and sisters? Do we have the anointing of God? Full of grace, my God. How many know this king this morning? Give him Amen. praise this morning. Amen. Amen. You know, I, but I, you know, I have to say I didn't come this morning to prepare no potato salad. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Amen. I, I didn't come to prepare no food for you. But, I, but many here are, are, you know, many are also preparing for Halloween. My God. Halloween is of the devil. And he is your trick. My God. And the hell is going to be your. My God. My God. It's going to be your treat. <laughs> and you know, if you get prepared to go to Halloween and do all that, it's okay. I'm still going to love you. I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Because you got to prepare yourself for when God comes. Amen. All I can do is remind you that we got a second. Oh, my God. Amen. We got another date coming that we're going to receive Christ. Amen. And the Bible says he's not coming. Oh, my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. 
He's not coming to deal with sin, the Bible says. He's coming for those who eagerly wait him, wait for him. Amen. 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 I, I mean, I got to eagerly wait for my God. Amen. No matter how long it takes, I know he's coming. I don't know the time he's coming, but he's coming. Amen. Can I get a witness this Amen. morning? Amen. Are you burning for Jesus this morning? Are you preparing yourself for the coming of Christ? Is there a zeal in your heart for the Lord Jesus? See, too many folks asleep. Their lamp has gone out. They have no fire in their hearts. And they don't care for the kingdom. Le digo, mucho, mucho, estamos hablando hoy en la mañana que el aceite que estamos hablando. Que muchos no se preparan por, por el reino que viene. Amen. Amen. Estamos, no estamos preparados. Muchos están dormidos en la iglesia. Ya se le pagó la lámpara. My God, I'm talking. You know, too many people sleep. You know, the, the, the lamp has gone out. Amen. Too many in the church sleep with no oil for the lamps. They say God is not showing up anyway. Why do I need this lamp burning? The devil is a liar. Because the Bible says we don't know the time and hour when God is coming. And the Bible tells us to keep your lamps trimmed. Meaning you got to keep them on fire. Can I get a witness? Amen. Oh my God, he might be catching somebody going through the, through the neighbor's window. But you know what? Many of us are going to get caught slipping. Can I keep it real this morning? Are you here in this church? The Bible says keep your lamp burning for you don't know the time nor the hour. What is the oil that keeps us on fire? It is the love of God in you. The anointing he has poured over you. That is the, that is the, the, the anointing is the victory. Come on somebody. The preparation for salvation is our victory. Can I get a witness? The spirit of God is your preparation. And as I write, his righteousness is our victory. You got to stay righteous. You got to, you got to, no matter what comes against you, no matter what's going on in your life, you want to turn back and follow the devil, go ahead. But my Bible says I got to stay upright. Amen. I got to be a man of integrity. I got to be a man of respect. I got to be a man who takes care of my wife and my family. Come on, somebody. Amen. I got to, I got to understand what righteousness is in me. Because if I don't have the fire burning in me when the second coming, my God. Amen. I'm not going to enter into the wedding banquet. Can I get a witness? Amen. Uh, are we groomed this morning? We want to have, you know, time to be ready. You know, we don't, we don't have, we're not going to have time to be getting ready. We're going to have to be. Amen. Come on, somebody. Y'all with me this morning? See, you can't run and, and ask to borrow some oil from your partners. Amen. Your brother nor your sister. They might not be willing to share. My God. <laughs> They're not going to want to share that anointed and that fire. Amen. They say, man, I, I don't even have enough for me. And you want me to give you some? My God. He said, no. The, the, the word that we're reading today says that they, the, the, the brides, the, the, the ten virgins didn't want to share. The five wise ones didn't want to share with the five foolish ones. Can I get a witness? They prepared... You know, they, they, you know they, don't want, they didn't want to share their anointing because they were prepared for it. But you were asleep. My God. I'm not talking to the church this morning. Amen. I don't want nobody to get mad at me this morning. I'm talking to the folks I know. Amen. Can I get a witness this morning? See, and don't just, you know, and I say, man, don't just ask anybody, you know, for the anointing. Amen. Because you might be asking the devil himself, my God. And he ain't doing nothing but running from Jesus. Can I get an amen this morning? Or oh, y'all don't hear me this morning. We got to understand that we got to keep our lamps burning. We got to keep the zeal of God in our heart. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. Be prepared for the wedding bank, banquet. Amen. This preparation is for the battle of our salvation. This is no glorious walk. Come on, somebody. Some will have to walk alone. How many of you, when you came to know Christ, your whole family left you? Ain't nobody want to come around and say, oh, he too, Jesus. My God, I'm going to keep it real this morning. He said, I, I'm a, you know what I said? I got to, if I got to walk alone, I'll take my Jesus by myself. Oh, he's getting quiet up in here. Amen. Ain't nobody got no folks that just, just left y'all, amen. amen. Now even your honey left you, my God. Amen. Can I keep it real this morning? She, she, your shorty didn't want to know Jesus. She, she gone, my God. Help me, somebody. Amen. You know, we, we got to understand if, 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 oh, my God, help me. I better get back in my message before I start preaching up in here. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. 
See, God is saying to those who are awake, those who are on fire, those who keep my commands will be ready and prepared for my second coming. Amen. Amen. This preparation is for the battle of our salvation. There's no glorious walk in this, in this preparation. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay on fire. You got to want it. Can I get an amen? amen. Who is ready for battle this morning? Amen. amen. But, we, you know, we must be trained like the horse that was trained to go battle. Amen. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. You know, we, we got to understand, you know what? There's a battle that we live in right now. Church, we must be trained just like the horse who is ready for battle. We have to make necessary preparations to be victorious. Amen. Tenemos que estar, tenemos que prepararnos a nosotros para esta victoria que viene. Cuando viene el Señor la segunda vez, no vamos a tener tiempo que estamos preparando. No, tenemos que estar preparados. Y'all didn't hear that, right? That, that's for the Spanish folks back there. Amen. Can I get a witness back there? Amen. Come on, somebody. Tenemos, we got to be nourished. Amen. See, a horse that is taking the battle, he's got to be nourished. He's got to be well fed. Amen. Like the brothers in the home, my God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Don't you make me start calling no names, amen. They well fed in my house, amen. Can I get it in my house? It belongs to God, amen. Can I keep it real this morning? My God. See, likewise, we have to nourish ourselves with the love of God, our minds and our spirit, my God. It, 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 it has to be renewed. Our hearts have to be prepared. Everything that, that's not right in this mind, we got to let it go. We got to renew us. We got to fill ourselves with the love of Christ. We have to feed ourselves spiritually. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes, life in this world is a battle, but salvation is our victory. Amen. Amen. Preparation is the key to victory. Listen, preparation, which God is calling his church, is one that many say since the times of Jesus, I've been hearing he's coming back. My God. How many how many have heard that? Honestly. Amen. I'm going to hurt somebody this morning. I'm going to mess up if y'all don't help me this morning. Amen. And worldly folks and the church is saying the same thing. Well, I've been here and he's coming. We've been waiting for 2,000 years. My God. No, oh, no. <laughs> you got to understand that God is coming. Amen. Amen. But you know he comes from folks every time they pass away. Who do you think? When, when do you think? Where do you think they're going? Uh, they're going somewhere. Amen. They're going home. Come on, somebody. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. We got to be prepared for that day. Because yeah. we don't know the day or the hour when God is coming. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Your lamp has gone out. There's no fire in the churches no more. See, we have to be over, over pre prepared and not under prepared. Because God is like, okay, most of us get complacent. You know, they, oh, I got enough Jesus. You know what complacent means? You get lazy. You, you get lax. Come on, somebody. We're like, oh, you know, I got it. I, I got this anointed. Amen. I, I got the Jesus that I need. I don't need. I don't need to be on fire. But the Bible tells me he ain't coming back for no lukewarm church. Come on, somebody. He's coming back for a church that's on fire. Amen. He said, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth because you on you lukewarm. You laying down and worried about Jesus ain't coming. My God, we get lazy. Don't want to be in our word. Don't want to be praying. But when trouble comes, we're going to run to the closet real quick. Come on, somebody. Oh, oh y'all don't hear me this morning. God said, no, you keep your lamp burning always. Praying always. Have faith always. Amen. In me. Amen. Not just in time of your troubles. Because the Bible says, go call on your idols. Go, your, your idols that you believe in more than me. When you're in trouble. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. When the love of God has grown, gone, I mean, when it's just grown cold, my God. When the anointing has lost its zeal, you're not prepared for the coming. Do you know that we can lose our zeal for God? We can lose this anointing that God has given us? That quick. We just step into something that ain't good for us. We have lost the anointing. We don't even want to know about Jesus no more. Just because I got a paycheck in my pocket. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Just because I got a new car. I got a new shorty now. You know, I, I got my own house. 
I did all this. The devil is a liar. God has given you that. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And God is the one that's in control of your life. Because the Bible says he'll give it and he'll take it. Yes. Amen. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. Let him fill your cup with the love of Christ. You got to ask God, okay, God, I, I need you to help me fill th this, this lamp of mine, this, this oil that I need. Well, let him do it with the fruits of the spirit. This is what keeps you going. Can I get a witness? Amen. You got to ask him for the love of Christ, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Come on, somebody. Faithfulness, patience, kindness, goodness. My God, I keep going. And self-control. You know, when you got the love of Christ in you, you got the spirit, you got the fruit of the spirit in you, you'll walk in that spirit. Right. Your, your lamp won't go cold. Can I get an amen? amen? This is what this message was telling us about. You know, uh, you know, are we living in the last days? Yes, we're living in the last days. Most folks say we're living in them right now. And if you walk downtown yesterday, if you would have been downtown with us, you didn't need to see no Halloween. Amen. You didn't need no mask. You didn't need to buy no mask. Come on, somebody. Amen. And I, and I ain't clowning on nobody. But if you want to see sickness, you want to be see the demon himself. I mean, lost. Go downtown. Amen. Go down there and sit in the corner with them. They have, they're just lawlessness. They don't care about nothing. Smoking pipes right on the corner. Woman couldn't stop moving. The other one was locked. Could do, one couldn't stand up. One couldn't even move. One was just looking and standing and talking. It's, look, let me tell you something. God is moving in a mighty way, church. Amen. He's showing us what's going on out there in the world. And he's telling us, I need my church to prepare themselves. Because I'm coming in the day that you don't know. Amen. And listen. He told Timothy, you should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God. They will consider nothing sacred. My God, they will be unloving, unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends. Be reckless. Be puffed up with pride. And love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious. But they will reject the power that could make them godly. My God. Huh? They will act religious. My God. Uh, help me Holy Ghost. All the, you got to understand, this is not the church that's preparing themselves for the kingdom. Amen. You know, we got, we got folks out there right now that don't care about this second coming. But I got to keep telling y'all and preparing y'all that God is coming. Can I get an amen? amen? Folks who have turned their back on God, my God, they're just backsliding all the way down to Walmart. My God, they don't even, they don't even care what they're doing anymore. You heard all that was going on. That's what's happening right now. People don't want to know. They don't want nothing. They don't believe in nothing sacred. They don't want to know nothing. They're reckless. Turn their back on their friends. Come on, somebody. Is that what we're seeing today? Can I get an amen? amen? We have to be prepared. We got to be the ones that the Bible says that we have to fan the flame of our brothers and sisters. Come on, somebody. He said fan the flames of you too so you can prepare yourself. Why? So that they, they can also go prepare others that don't know Christ. Come on, somebody. You got, we, got to, we got to lift up the gifts of our brothers and sisters to tell them, you know what? Do you know this Jesus? Let me, let me help you out. Let me, let me take you to the word. That's why the Bible tells us that we have to, we have to stay in the word. The word is the nourish, nourishment to our body and to our spirit. Can I get an amen? amen? We need the spirit of God to guide us to the wedding. Amen. Let me take y'all to the word. Let's go to let's go to let's go to Matthew 25. Well, I'm, I'm gonna preach to y'all all day. Amen. Amen. My goodness. Listen to the word. At the time, the kingdom of heaven. Who do I got to can read back there in Spanish? Amen. I gotta break it down for the Spanish folks. Brother. Brother Rudy, come on, Brother Rudy. Let's give the minister a hand up here. He's going to read his Spanish for us, amen. amen. 
Amen. Are y'all are y'all with me this morning, church? Amen. Amen. Matthew twenty five. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and read first. First four. Four. Mm -hmm. And then one one through four. Mateo 25, 1 al 4. El reino de los cielos será entonces como diez jóvenes, sol, jóvenes sol, solteras que tomarán sus lámparas y salieron a recibir al novio. Número 2. Cinco de ellas eran insensantas y cinco prudentes. Las insensantas llevaron sus lámparas, pero no establecieron de aceite. El cambio, las prudentas llevaron vasijas de aceite junto con sus lámparas. Cinco, y yo, y como el novio tardaba en llegar, y todos les dio sueño, he said, All right there. Listen to the word. We're in Matthew 25, verse 1 through 13. At the time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, my God, and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps the bridegroom was long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. Go ahead, brother. El número seis. A medianoche se oyó un grito. Ahí viene el novio. Salgan a recibirlo. Entonces todo, todas las jóvenes se, des, se despertaron y se pusieron a preparar sus lámparas. Mm -hmm. Ocho. Las insensatas dijeron, la dijeron a las prudentes, dinos un poco, denos un poco de su aceite, porque nuestras lámparas se están apagando. Amen. At midnight the cry rang out. Listen what it says. At midnight the cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. My God. And did y'all hear that? No, they replied. There may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who will sell oil and buy some for yourselves. Hmm. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding bank banquet, and the door was shut. Nine and ten, bro. No, no respondieron. No respondieron. Estás, porque así no va a alcanzar ni para nosotros ni para ustedes. Es mejor que vayan a los que venden aceite y compren más ustedes mismas. Número 10. Pero mientras iban a comprar el aceite, llegó el novio y las jóvenes que estaban preparan, pre, preparadas en, entraron con el banquete de bodas y se cerró la puerta. Mm. Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth. I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. My God. Did you hear that? Let me, let me, let me share it to him. He said, dice, dice que cuando vinieron los demás, le dijeron, Señor, Señor, ábrame la puerta. Dice, te, te digo la verdad, no te conozco. Dice, Therefore, he said, Ora, he said, pon, Ponte uh, mirando porque tú no sabes el día ni la hora. Amen? Can I get an amen? amen. What was he telling us? ¿Qué lo he was saying that we don't know 
no sabemos the time when God is coming. Ni la hora viene Dios. He said, just be prepared because I'm coming, my God. Prepared. Come on, somebody. Y'all hear me this morning? Mm -hmm. he, he said, oh, I, you don't know. He said he came at midnight, you, you know, because back in then they used to have a wedding, my God. They used to have a wedding. They used to start late in the evening, but wait a minute. They used to wait for the bridegroom coming while the maids were in the house waiting for him, amen. But this time, he didn't show up. My God, he came at midnight when he was what? Unexpected. And he said the door was already shut. Why? Because they didn't have their preparation ready. Amen. Come on, somebody. Can I get a witness this morning? Listen to what the wall breaks down. Can I can I teach a little bit? Church, we don't know the timing of Christ's second coming, but what we should be is prepare for it as though it could happen today. Can I get a witness? See, the vessels, the jars, and the in the, in, the, in the parable were containers for storing extra oil. Being wise means being prepared for the unexpected with an extra measure of faith. Well, test your know. life. This is what he was saying. You know, you got to have your jar filled with me in you. Come on, somebody. You got to have the anointing stored up in here. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. He said, "You, there's not going to be no time to go buy some anointing from somewhere when I come. Oh, my God. He, when I come for you. I, I'm, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Amen. Are y'all getting the picture this morning? Amen. Can I get a hallelujah this morning? Amen. Letting the Holy Ghost, God, you know, he got to reside in us. Amen. See, church, sometimes I keep saying we come, you know, we become complacent. We say, you know what? I, I got enough Jesus. I don't need no more Jesus. And the devil is a liar. We all need more Jesus. Can I get a witness this morning? But following the Savior, Jesus Christ, means more than just getting by. It means always striving to draw closer to him, preparing for these times when our patience and our faith and testimony will be tried, my God. Don't you know we get tried every day? Don't you know this is why God said, I need you to hold on to your faith. I need you to hold on to the anointing. I need you to hold on to everything that's good because something's coming to try you. Can I get a witness? The Bible says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, it says, and purify your hearts. What we say, you know, when, when God comes, we don't have time to be washing our hands. We ain't going to have time to purify our hearts. The door is, he's going to say, okay, the door is open. Are you ready? He, you ain't ready. I'm shutting the door. My God. You see too many people say I'm on the grace plan. God's put a seal on me. I, I'm going, I'm going to enter. Where I don't care if I'm a sinner. I'm still going home. The devil is a liar. Y'all better listen to this word. He said, if you ain't prepared, I'm going to shut the door on you. Can I get an amen? amen. Uh, are y'all with me this morning? Amen. All is our first, you know, I'm going to break down the oil, amen. See, all is our first, you, when, when, when they pick the olives of the tree, amen, they put them in water to clean them and purge them of their bitterness. My God, don't it sound like some of us folks? Sometimes we got to just go in the water. Sometimes we got to let go of our bitterness. My God, I'm talking. We got to be clean. And they are crushed to, to extract their, con, you know, the, the, they were used for multi-purposes, multi amen, for food, cooking, Treatment of wounds, cosmetic, and to fuel the lamps. This is what this oil is talking about. But the oil in this, in this parable represents our faith, our testimony, our purity, our dedication. Come on, somebody. And our good works and our keeping us with God. Come on, somebody. God said, okay, let me, let me, let me see if he's still pure in his heart. Mm -hmm. Let me see if he's still walking with me. Let me see if he can still hold on to the good works that he's supposed to be doing. My God, I'm talking to somebody. You got to, you got to keep in the ways of God. The Holy Spirit to be our guide. You know, he was saying this oil was, was the Holy Spirit. That was the guide. That's the light that God is talking about. He's saying you, you need this light. You need this oil. And that oil is in you. Can I get an amen? The wise virgins couldn't share the oil with the foolish virgins. Because the oil of spiritual preparedness cannot be shared. Did y'all hear that? Amen. The oil of spiritual, that spiritual condition, they couldn't share with the, with the foolish ones. Because the foolish ones don't know Christ. They don't want to know Christ. Come on, somebody. That's why, they, that's, why the, that's why they couldn't share their oil with them. They said, now this is my spiritual condition. 
And I asked the church this morning, where's your spiritual condition this morning? Do you got enough to share to somebody? Do you need to hold on to your, my God? Do you need to hold on to your own oil this morning? See, the Bible's telling us you got to prepare yourselves. You got to make sure that you're in a spiritual condition that nobody can take from you. Know that when God comes knocking at the door, he gonna, he gonna let you in. Can I get an amen this morning? Amen. How many of us think today if God comes, he's going to let us in? Amen. My God, half, half of the church, my God, I'm, hey, hey my God, I'm, I, I, I'm preaching to somebody this morning. My God, some of us still need some spiritual condition, amen. Some of us still need to turn our lamps on and keep them on, my God. Amen. Ain't no time to get lazy. Ain't no time to being complacent. There's no time to, to, to wait until God comes to say, let me clean my hands today. Let me get out of my sin that I'm in. Because God is saying, I'm, you don't know the day and the hour that I'm coming. Give him glory this morning.